Um, here I am at the, the diagnostic clinic where we just received uh, a Majesty Palm sample and I think it's really important to show that this, this grower actually brought us three different samples um, and you can see basically the symptom uh, this one here is probably probably the best looking, uh, whereas you don't have any type of, of, of bud rot. And then when you look at the second one here in the middle, you can see that there were actually two planted in the same pot, and this one has uh, pretty much gone completely downhill. This one is completely dead. So you can see the, the, the disease progression, and it's really important when you submit samples to the clinic to try to include a range of the symptoms. Uh, because if you were just to bring, for example, this, this um, sample here, which is completely dead, the likelihood of isolating the pathogen from that dead tissue is, is very, very low. Um, and, and you can see this, this particular uh, disease has uh, resulted in a fatality. We, we, we actually have two casualties here in the sample. Uh, one of the things I do want to show, this, this disease is caused by Phytophthora palmivora and it is Phytophthora bud rot. It can actually cause a root rot as you can see, you can see in this plant, uh, definitely we've we've got some um, necrosis or dead root tissue, um, and then it will literally move up into the the lower the lower portion of the plant, and eventually get into the crown, and then if it makes its way into the bud, it's going to kill the plant. As you can see in this example, and one of the um, the keys to identifying just a field diagnosis for Phytophthora um, bud rot is you can generally go right in and pull the spear leaf right out of the, 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 the plant and it will generally come right out. Now, will this make it? Of course, this one here is completely dead. If you ca catch it in early stages, you can do a bud drench and, and likely save uh, the plant. One of the other things is if you, if you do have uh, access to a, um, a loop or a, or a lens, you set this tissue out on a, on a, a, a tabletop uh, ambient room temperature, you know, around 75, 78 degrees, you will eventually get a very fine, it's almost hyaline, clear-like mycelial growth across the affected tissue, and that's actually the causal agent, Phytophthora palmivora. Um, which is, which is the primary bud rot pathogen. And one thing also I would like to mention is oftentimes after you, 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 uh, the bud rot pathogen moves in, secondary bacteria and other microorganisms move into the compromised tissue and you're often gonna have a really foul, almost a uh, rotten meat-like smell associated with the sample.